For those of you that are new or welcome back here at the Disability Digest, we do these live events typically every Wednesday um, to cover topics that are targeted towards helping you get your benefits, keeping your benefits and maximizing your benefits. And um, so if you like the work that we do and you feel like in the holiday mood and you want to help somebody out, maybe give them a gift, give this a share. Send it out there to others that are out there so they can benefit from it. Yeah. Carlo, Cheryl, James, Marvin, welcome, welcome. Um, so great. So let's get that we're going to cover today are one, uh, we're going to go through the basic fundamentals of what it takes to get your disability benefits approved and to keep them, right? And then the second thing we're gonna go through is a new idea, well, maybe not new to you, uh, but new that we presented um, for you to supplement your income, do a side hustle. Um, we've had a lot of comments and feedback from our members that are getting pinched with inflation and um, just looking for a way to survive. So this is something we believe that a lot of people can do. So we hope you enjoy the show. Did I miss anything? Oh, at the end, we're gonna answer some questions. So if you've got individual questions regarding the approval process, yep. getting, keeping, all that. Good. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Jam drew the short straw and is going first today, right? <laughs> Um, so what Jim is going to cover is the process of getting your Social Security disability benefits approved. And it's also the same process for keeping your benefits when you get your continuing disability review. I'm going to put up on my screen a diagram that we're going to work with. So hopefully everybody can see my screen. Green and Jim is going to walk us through this from a graphic perspective with an explanation. Thank you, Jim, in advance. Yeah, sure. So, um, I don't think it's showing. Okay. No, is it? All right, I see it. Okay. Okay. So, hi guys. My name is Jam. As many of you guys know me. <laughs> So if you want to receive social security disability benefits, the first thing you should do is visit a doctor. And in the worst case scenario, you are in a, so much pain and you are unsure of what is wrong with you. So you go to the nearest ER. And so let's use the condition fibromyalgia as an example. You then describe your symptoms to the doctor. For example, you have pain and stiffness all over your body decreased energy, depression, anxiety, sleeping problems, problems with thinking, memory, and concentration, including headaches and migraines. So doctors tried to rule out physical problems that could cause your symptoms using the patient's history, physical examination, lab tests, specifically tender point tests, and the main factor needed for fibromyalgia diagnosis is widespread pain throughout your body for at least three months. So your next step, so you get your diagnosis, your next step is getting treatment. Medication and self-management techniques are effective ways to treat and manage fibromyalgia. The focus is on reducing symptoms and enhancing overall health. While there isn't a single cure for all symptoms, using a number of approaches can help in the long run. So rheumatologists, medical specialists who specialize in treating fibromyalgia and other forms of arthritis should be interested with the treatment of fibromyalgia. Doctors typically use a mix of therapies to treat fibromyalgia, which may include medicines such as over-the-counter analgesics and prescription medications. And that includes numerous treatments that can lessen the impact that fibromyalgia has on your body and your life. So. Treatment, treatment includes um, exercise for muscle growth and aerobic fitness. So now we're talking about physical therapy, occupational therapy. Also classes on patient education, typically in settings such as primary care or the community. 
And that includes stress reduction methods, including yoga, meditation, and mm -hmm. massage. Also, healthy sleeping practices that enhance sleep quality. And mm -hmm. lastly, CBT, which stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, used to treat depression. So CBT is a form of conversation therapy intended to alter how individuals behave or think. Because depression is highly associated with fibromyalgia and also concentration issues like cognitive issues. Mm -hmm. So um, Brian, I'm seeing your screen. Yes, yes, thank you. I just wanted to add a point for those of you that suffer from fibromyalgia and are going through the process. There is a uh, specific test that Social Security has that's up on the screen. And it's called a tender point test. It's got all this complicated language up here, but the condensed version is this test allows Social Security to recognize the severity of the condition and it's conducted typically by a rheumatologist or pain management. And they have a process of applying pressure on these points that you see in the front and the back here. And based on your reaction to the test allows them to gauge your severity. So if you are, um, I see Kathleen is chiming in, was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. This is something that is like a game changer for your approval process um, to help Social Security understand it. So if you haven't done that, uh, you can contact us and we can get you this regulation and other tips to get approved. So that was great, Jam. Thanks so much for that. So let's just go back. I'm going to pull uh, the diagram back up so we can do a recap here, right? Yeah. Um, so... You get your diagnosis, you get your treatment. Now, suppose you don't have a condition that hasn't been properly identified and you are unaware of what it is. If you don't know what it is, you can move on to step two, which is getting medical treatment. And the second step is to have them treated in accordance with social security regulations. Mm -hmm. So social security requires documented limitations in order to approve somebody. And when you communicate, it's not only about your conditions, it is also about your limitations. And for example, you can you may say you can only stand or walk for 30 minutes for up to 30 minutes at a time due to the chronic pain, stiffness and numbing that you're experiencing throughout your body. Also, a gallon of milk is too heavy for you to lift. You can no longer push or pull. You keep dropping items so you, that um, prompts that you have problems with your grip and your stamina has deteriorated yep. and everything needs to be supported by your medical records and it will be hard to get approved if your medical records are a sham mm -hmm. okay so to review the flow chart diagnosis is your first step second step yep. is um, doctor treatment third is limitations backed up by your medical records and that is how you will get and keep your disability benefits boom love it Wonderful. So, so all of you out there participating, uh, again, welcome. There's lots of seats up in the front. You can move forward so you can get a closer view. Um, the most important thing that I want to just dial down on this wonderful presentation, and by the way, Jam did the graphics for this, so give her a shout out. <laughs> Yay, Jam! <laughs> Yay, Jam. <laughs> Thank is, you, guys. Anybody that is trying to get or is receiving has one key area, in my opinion, that they should focus on out of the three that we have here, right? Which one do you think it is? Being treated. Yeah. Getting a firm diagnosis for your condition. They're all important. Yeah, saying treatment is a key. They're all, that's true. But I think that that's, I can't argue with that. But what my point is, limitations is if you have treatment for a condition, but your treatment doesn't communicate your limitations, when Social Security looks at your medical records, they could be misinformed. So 
the the point that I want to make to everybody is when you're going to your doctor's visits, trying to get approved or already approved, is like Jim had mentioned, gallon of milk, taking steps. Yeah. These are the things that you want to continue to stay tuned into here so that you have like disability insurance and you understand yeah. exactly what to do. Yeah. Elaboration. Exactly. Yeah. Anything else on this? Elaborate on the limitations and not so much on the condition, basically. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, for those of you out there listening, if you have questions on the first part of this presentation, you just we're going to take some questions here in a minute. Um, so feel free to put those in. So we're moving from medical to money. <laughs> money, 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 money.